Yay, the new season. Yay. Yeah, good job, Jeff. It is hot. Way to go, Jeff. You always Way say it's hot. You always say it's hot in here. Way to go, Jeff. Way to go. Way to go, Jeff. Way to oh. go. Key change. <laughs> Key change. Are we going to do this show or not? <laughs> Welcome to this New Year's edition of Access Sports Weekly here on AccessWDUN.com. Bo Wilson alongside Jeff Rohart. And behind the camera and in front of the camera, that guy right there, Seth Chavin, our producer of the show. Hello, guys, and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Seth must be all-encompassing if he's both in front and behind. It's 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 so interesting. It, it is. Works. I uh, Make you up know. your mind, Or there's Seth. just more than one camera? Yeah, make up your mind. Which is it? Listen, I was fine being beh- being behind it and not in front of it, and you guys were like, "Come on, you need to be in front of camera." So I, I never like, said that. So now he has I his never own said camera. that. No, Bo did. Yeah, Bo I was did. like, "You should be." I mean, on camera. once you got on camera, I no longer was the best looking guy on camera. I didn't wear shorts today, so my <laughs> pants were getting <laughs> covered in mud. It's getting deep in here. Wow. Oh, okay. I was, I was trying like, to figure out what shorts had to do to with anything. Yeah. That was, that was a slow developing. <laughs> yeah, that's joke right. there. I was dragging it out. So, yeah. gu- so guys, uh, the uh, the twenty twenty part of the basketball season is now uh, upon us. It is. I thought you'd forgotten how to do the show it's there for a second. You hesitated. I, I almost forgot how to do the show, but it <laughs> is here. <laughs> we we have returned. <laughs> That's that's our New Year's resolution to remember how to do the show. To remember how we to do back. the show, yeah, yeah. We we've, we've we've been off a couple of weeks. So we are back for the show, and uh, we are here. We are here, and we are talking. We have an audience. Whatever we're talking. Yeah, we, we, we had an audience. Several out folks there. had walked by and looked in the window. I believe that was our newest member of the Jacobs Media should, family. Yes, our newest. What are they? What, video video journalist. Video journalist. Yes, that'd be videographer, correct. much like myself. Yes. Lauren. Yes, who yeah. I actually went to college with. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, maybe we should start selling candy at the window. Maybe. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, you know. People would buy it. <laughs> we, like, just take a Snickers and, like, label over it, like, access WDU. And That's right. Sports <laughs> Weekly, get, candy bar. Peanut butter, nougat, nougat. candy. Everybody cool. loves the nougat. Nougat. Yes. Uh, so, guys, how did you finish your 2019? Finished 20, yeah. How did you? Uh, how did I? I know how the sports finished Let's 2019. See, what did I do? Uh, it's called three, four grueling I think days just, of Lanier Land. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's called Lanier Land. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that is how I finished. I was uh, sleeping after two, three long days. Well, two and a half long days. I mean, oh. yeah, it was long. Yeah, it was. that Not first fun. day was really long. Oh yeah. Yeah, some well, of us, some of us didn't get to go to a concert that first day. Yeah, well, you know that's the first time oh, in like really? 15 yeah. years. What concert? Driving and crying. Uh, Never saw one photo or video from it either. Oh, I don't know. Stacy does handle. Stacy did post a fantastic photo of you this weekend on Facebook. I, I encourage everyone to go, oh. friend Stacy Hart. Oh, I'm gonna find Facebook. it and I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it up on screen, like and maybe right now. Maybe now. Yes, we should do that right now. It, it, it's great. It's Jeff turned fifty seven. Oh, right? Hey, oh, is it fifty seven no, or fifty six? Oh I I will boycott the show. <laughs> Jeff had a happy birthday on Saturday. Should we well, I did. It's although I was reminded repeatedly that I'm closer to sixty than I am to fifty now. Should we sing to Bo on the show? I mean, Actually, sing to Bo. To, no, don't sing, sing to Bo. Don't sing to me. Sing Should we to sing to Jeff on show right Bo now? Bo had a ba- Bo ha- had a birthday last year. Sometime. Do we have a track to run like a happy birthday, and we can just play in the background right now? I can throw something over there, sure. Yeah. Okay. So, sure Jeff, can. here's your birthday serenade from us. Happy! Oh, you stink! You let me start it by myself, Bo. Uh, I knew I that was you. coming. I was knew that was. Coming. Do I get the five bucks for calling that? Yeah, you get the five bucks. <laughs> yeah, consider that your birthday present. Well, that's the only one I got. So, hey, Bo! Yes. Happy New Year! What? I can't hear myself. Oh, exactly. <laughs> the guy I kind of like that. I can carry the, the show. Bucks. Trust me. Okay, I will. Bye, Bo. Um, you're almost Uh-oh, off wait, camera. Wait, Come now on, you're I'm, almost I'm there. You go. <laughs> wait a second. I'm getting a Garth moment, as in uh, Wayne's World. Party on uh, Wayne. Uh, 
Wayne. Okay, Jeff. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I gave you the opportunity to carry the show, and you didn't. It's not a show without <laughs> happy you. Happy birthday, both. Jeff. It's not a show yes, without you. Yes, happy birthday, both. To Jeff. Yeah, same, same there with you, Jeff. Uh, yes, happy birthday. Hope it was great. It was. Had a good. I, I'm still alive. I wanted us to sing to you, but Bo apparently wasn't having it. I I started the song. You finished it. That's not true. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is a lie and false. All right, so let's move into the serious portion of the show, guys. Uh, 2020 basketball season is here, and the 2019 season, of course, we said ended with Lanier Land for us, uh, you know. But now, Jeff, here we go into the meat of the region schedule. I think it's it, this is. I think we were we've talked for several days. This is a an unusual basketball season. And I think it's going to shape up to finish as an unusual basketball season. Uh, just, you know, because of the way things are with, uh, I, there's a lot of rebuilding going on around the area. Um, you know, even teams like Gainesville. I mean, and just, you know, I, I think that Gainesville, what's going on with it, it's kind of a microcosm of the, so far the whole season. I mean, they, you know, they lost all their starters. We didn't know that until right before the beginning mm-hmm. of the season. They're 0-10. And everybody's saying, oh, they're going to win Lanier Land. You're like, they're 0-10. Uh, but they won Lanier Land. The absolute most athletic team in the Lanier Land. Uh, no doubt. And, and, and I, you know, you don't want to take anything away from the other Hall County teams. I, there, there's a lot of theories, and, and we're discussing on kind of where we're going to go with some of the things that we hear um, but yeah, they're just, nobody has the collection of talent. The talent is spread out. So there's a good player here and a good player here and a good player here, but Gainesville's got, you know, three or four really good players and they're young. And I think once they, uh, get consistent, they're, they're going to be a load. Uh, if they're they, going to be a load. If they figure out playing with the same tempo and explosion they have to start the game and then do that the entire game and not have that lull period. Right, you know, right in the middle, and I, you know, I know it's tough to keep, uh, you know, that intensity up the entire game. But I think Gainesville has the athletes to do so, and I think by the end of the season, this team is going to be really good. Well, I, I think they're already really good. I think it's a matter of like, like I think they're good. Talking, I think they'll be really. They good. just got to fine tune a right. couple of things, and and of course, you know, Chuck Graham is the guy. Oh yeah, I I, I love Chuck Graham. I I think he is in the right place at the right time. Um, he knows how to handle uh, his group. Um, we well, saw he's that. talked about the process. Right. And, and we saw that last mm-hmm. year. You know, uh, he had to take over. You know, they lost a lot. They had a few guys coming back, how to put it all together. And they had a great run. And really, I thought that, you know, going back, they should have beaten Tucker, I thought, you know, and made the semifinals. And then who knows from there. But, uh, you know, he's the guy. He's And it's almost a brand new team. Almost a brand new team. And, uh, I like. Yeah, I got my first look at him in, in Lanier Land, and I was impressed by what I saw. Well, here's another uh, impressive thing: White County girls beating Flowery Branch on Tuesday night. They are second in Region Seven Four A, one game out of first place. Maris is leading that region. Right. White County Jarvis Davenport has got it going on up in Cleveland. He does. They're riding a ten game win streak. Um, you know, I saw them early in the year when they played Blessed Trinity, and they, they won that game, but they didn't look all that. I mean, you know, we talked about it. it for them, uh, what I did with Jarvis, shooting the ball was the issue. They, they just, you know, early in the season, they just, shots weren't falling. Defensively, they were good. Uh, the shots weren't falling, and that was the issue. Now, the shots are falling. They're still playing defense. That was a really big game. I think that was a big game for them. On Tuesday against Fire Branch, I mean, here's a team, three straight semifinal appearances, a state championship game appearance. Uh, they still got some good players. But as we've documented a little bit through the Nearland, Fire Branch is, is they're, they're fighting it right now. They, they don't have any depth. They had some injuries. Uh, you know, right now they're just, they're kind of there, and, 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 and Courtney's trying to find out exactly how to, it, it's a new group almost. And, White County really looked good. Playing, well, you, uh, defensively, they were outstanding. Well, you guys got a chance to, to catch up with Coach Davenport after the game last night. Seth was uh, on the video there. You can check that video out uh, on the website and also a clip of it on our Twitter page at Access WDUN Sports. And uh, Coach Davenport, I'm sure, very excited after that game. Oh, he, he was uh, 
He was, but he tempered it. You know, he said, look, um, we still got some things to work on. We need to, you know, maybe not have a lull. Um, try to be a little more consistent. Uh, they had a, a spell there where the shots didn't fall. Well, let's see what he had to say here. Absolutely. Is this team more built for offense or, or really how you're playing defense? Well, I mean, this team is really experienced. I mean, I, I got uh, four seniors that have started or, you know, almost started every game or every year that they've been here since freshman. Uh, I got sophomores that have started some, and I have juniors that have started just about every game that they've been here. So we've been to two playoffs, or three in a row, but these, this group has been to two and three. And they just got a lot of experience, a lot of big games, a lot of loud environments, and they just, they, they kind of have started feeding off each other and depending on each other, like what good teams do. Well, I, I'm not going to say it's quite at the Buford level of defense, but you guys are swarming and turning them over. I mean, is that really well, what you feel is, is that, that you have to win? You, if, you can, if you get that, that, that that's going to drive you? Well, your defense always creates your offense. And to be you know, mentioned with, with a team like Buford is, a, is an honor in itself. You know, Coach Durden does a great job down there. Uh, but, you know, just playing hard defensively and not giving up anything, that's, that's the key. You don't want to give – the opposing team, anything at all, not one inch. You want to always be there to fight. Every time they turn around with the ball, they're going to see you right there ready to go again. Even if they knock you down, you're going to get right back up and be right back in that spot. Well, Locke had 15, but she really had to work for it. Eventually fouled out. Uh, was the game plan to kind of uh, compress down on her and make the others beat you, or what was the key to this? Well, I mean, I think they have a lot of great shooters over there. Uh, they, they spread the floor out wide, and they make you have to make a decision, or you're going to try to take her away. We're going to try and take the perimeter shots away, and you really have to rotate defensively to get out there to shooters, and we did a good job of that. Uh, we, we helped inside, but then when the ball got swung or skipped, we, we took off and closed out when we could, but when we couldn't, we got hands up and made the shots difficult, and they weren't just open looks. Well, and you could say could be said on the other side. I mean, you might not have a lot of presence, but you have a lot of shooters, mm -hmm. so they have a lot of uh, different choices. Uh, you know, it, it, when you're knocking down shots, how good can this team really be? As long as we defend, if we defend well and we knock down shots, we're a tough out. Um, we can we can do some special things, but we have to defend first and foremost and let that defense create our offense. And then the more layups you get, the more times you get to the free throw line, the bigger that basket looks to the shooters. And then they start making more shots and shooting is contagious. Make it or miss. White County definitely on the uptick in the second in Region 7 for you. Another great interview by you, Seth and hey. Jeff. Yeah, and that's going to be something – we saw this on Twitter. That's going to be something we're going to start doing a lot more often, guys. We're going to start taking you know interviews immediately after games, going to try and get them up on Twitter ASAP, possibly even see some Twitter live interviews. Don't know, but keep tabs on our Twitter. We're going to start being a lot more active there. All right, guys. Uh, you know, here is the part of the show where we, we allow Seth to throw out some of his picks. And I think, I think Seth – and I'm going to throw this out at you. And if if you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But we haven't been on for a couple of weeks. There might be some highlight clips that you want to run here in Seth's picks that you got from the Lanier Land Championship games. Oh, yeah. As well. That was, that was what I was going to ask. I was like, okay, do you want me to do it like from the game I did this week? Yeah. Or do you want me to bring it back from... Ooh, yeah, we've got some great stuff from Lanier Land. Yeah, no, well, going to be might a be the lot time to... of three-pointers on that one. Yeah, this will be the time to, to, to bring that out. Oh, yeah. Going to be a lot of three-pointers. Here you guys go. McNair, wide open three from the right side. Go. Jackie Allen gets into Joella. Joella moves a three up. Go! <laughs> Snyder with a three, four seconds to go. Hamill actually thought about the three, takes one dribble, and takes it good. Because they run this offense all the time. And a block, and he's going to... Gives back to Harbin. Harbin thought about a three, drives left side, puts it up through contact. Blocking foul, count the bucket. Boy, what a good move. Blackwell, now Millwood. Conley Millwood fires a three from deep. It's good. <laughs> Holyfield. 
A lot of new players in the game now. Gaither, wow. shot's good. Gaither's yeah, pump fake the three, now gets it back to Vegas. She'll pop a three right wing. Got it. That would never hit the rim. Into the front court she comes. Stops. Pops a deep three from the top of the key. Good. She's... Eliza Snyder makes it a one-point game. She's giving it down low to Snyder against Aguilar. Snyder fall away. Hook shot. Air ball no good. But the rebound is to Jackie Allen. She lays it up and in. And Lakeview Academy has the lead. Drives crossover left, takes it, goes, not oh. his tank. Back up and in by Jacob Carlson. Now here's a long look ahead, Pat Pitts on a breakaway. Didn't get a dunk, but he got a layup, and it bounced around and in. Just loses it, gets it back, gets it back outside. Three-pointer on the way from Gaither, is good! Dodge Gaither with what might be the knockout shot, puts Gainesville up 15. Inside the Pitts, back to Buffington, now it's stolen. Stolen away by West Hall. It's Coger racing into the front court. Wild layup goes high off the glass. Shelton back to Pitts. Pitts sizes up an NBA three and drains it. He held the pose as he knocked it down. Behind the back move stolen by Doncha Gaither. Gaither one on one, drives inside, tomahawks it down. There's the exclamation mark. Eliza gonna take a three left wing. Good. Eliza Snyder puts the Lady Lions on the board first. 3-0. He's leading here in the opening minutes as Grace Hollyfield takes a three. She answers. Tie game at three. Gillespie thought about the three. Didn't take it. A long three from Hollyfield. Goes. Nothing but net for Grace Hollyfield. Here's Eliza with it. Gonna pull the trigger long range. Good. Eliza Snyder. Watson left key down the corner. Grace Hollyfield for three. Yes, count it. One, two, three. My favorite highlight there was uh, said nicely. Oh, no doubt. And it wouldn't be Seth's picks for basketball season if we didn't have at least a dunk. Of course. Or one dunk. The two dunk, dunks, the, three dunks. The most dunks. Uh, electrifying shot I, in basketball. I it's like think, the people's elbow for yeah, basketball. That's right. That's right. I, I, uh, I think last year he had an entire segment just of dunk. Hey, that's cool. I'll take it. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> they do other things on the yeah, basketball yeah, court yeah. other than dunk. No, well, those are. I have other stuff I, in there. Again, dunks provide quality highlights, Jeff. That is true. Okay. I, but, you know, but if you can't dunk, then you don't get on cesspick. See, that's the problem. Well, well that's you, just not true. If you can't dunk, you probably are shooting three, so you probably will get on cesspicks. There well, you what go. A, what about the guy that shoots the mid-range jumper? He probably get on there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I put anything on there okay. that strikes my fancy. That's right. Ah, that's, why that's why they're why called Seth's picks. picks. We did that after the, this time. <laughs> there you go. We didn't do the lead in, but we'll still keep it in. That's right. So now it's time to get to your favorite part of the show. We need confetti or something <laughs> to fall. I was going to wait to see what Seth said. Will Hart, team of the week. That is correct as we choose. The Will Hart Team of the Week this week. We have three nominees, as usual. The White County Girls beating Flowery Branch. The Jeez, North. I'm, sh I'm shocked that one made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. The North Hall Boys knocking off Cherokee Bluff in a crucial Region 7 3A game for them. And the Gainesville Boys with a six game win streak. Lanier Land title. And that all started after an 0 10 start. It did. We kind of put that in there because, you know, people were kind of like, what's wrong with Gainesville? I think we're finding out. Nah, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot's wrong with Gainesville. They <laughs> Maybe had a, a tough, tough schedule. schedule. Yeah. All right, so, Jeff, uh, you get the first pick of the new year. I get to yes, start? you get to start. Is it because it was my birthday? Yes, it's because it's your birthday. If we had mm. the big sombrero, we would put it on your, like you had at the restaurant, but we Ooh, don't have you said it. I'm going to make it a thing. Yeah. I'm going to get a big sombrero. Perhaps we will now. That, the, no, uh, I'm looking forward to perhaps. that. I'm doing it. We oh. will. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. This We're also going to do like a cafe Cancun and give you a nice pie in the face oh, nice. for your birthday. Nice. I'm I'm on vacation next week. By the way. <laughs> uh, it starts I, after your birthday. I get so to go first. We, you don't get you don't get it. You get time. to go first. I, it's I, all I, you. I, you know, I, I'm going to tell you, it's hard to go I, against. It's hard to go against Gainesville yeah, with what yeah, with the yeah. way they're going. However, however, however. Talk yourself out I, of it. I, no, I didn't oh, talk myself did, okay. out of it. I am talking myself into, into to it. something. Okay. I'm going to go with the White County girls because based on what I saw against Flowery Branch, and, and you know, I think Flowery Branch is kind of struggling, but mm -hmm. they're still mm -hmm. really good. Right, right, right. And White County was up 19 in that game. Okay. I think it's a team that can actually win 7-4-8. Okay. They played Marist okay. early in the year when White County was not clicking the way they are now. They're going to get them in a week or two. That's going to be a game for, you know, number one seed really probably for the region title. 
I'm going to go with White County Girls because I like what I see from what uh, Jarvis is doing up there. Not so fast, my friend. Not so fast. I have a pencil. Ooh, not yeah, so fast. I have a pencil. I just felt like saying that. Okay. What, pencil I'm gonna or not go, so fast? I'm going to go with the full body of work here. The full body of work? Yeah. Uh, and I know you've you've done the same thing. Except for the fact that when you start the season 0-10, and, and then you get on a six-game win streak, and that continues after Lanier Land, that's pretty good. I'm picking the Gainesville boys basketball team as my Will Hart team of the week, which means Man. tiebreaker. Tiebreaker is going to go to Seth. Of course, will Seth go I with his these. alma mater? Will he go with his alma mater? Will be it be a, Cherokee Bluff? Will it be wow. a three-way tie? We don't mm, know. Of course, we don't know, you know what you? Seth was saying. We just implanted that in your mind. You know what I was wondering? What? I was wondering why... Um, I was wondering why we weren't considering North Hall girls for their oh. Lanier Land victory. Oh. I was honestly wondering. Well, perhaps Seth is just a writing, a writing, a writing write candidate. So are you going to write? You got to spell it exactly I, correctly. Is it a write-in <laughs> candidate? <laughs> so, Not terribly hard to spell. So are you going with the Lady Trojans? I really do because I think that was just a really big moment for them. Do you know? Come out of a you know long awaited Lanier Land victory, and it was big for Christy House. Just you know the elation that was on her face and all of her players, that was you know the elation on their faces after, you know after that win and us talking to Christy House and you know just how excited she was to get this win. I I I do want to ride them in. I want to ride them okay. in. Wow! But so we do have mean, a three way tie. But yeah, that means a three way tie. So does that mean the paper I, rock scissors or what? I don't know. Did we Why have do you actual... say paper rock scissors? Uh, rock paper scissors. It's rock paper scissors. Whatever. How come it can be scissors paper rock? Because that scissors, just sounds rock paper. No, no. I I, no. I go in alphabetical order. No. Sorry, P R S. Okay. So Whatever. what what is it really? Rock paper scissors. It's rock paper scissors. That that, that's you... how I it really always is. heard it. Rock paper scissors. Shoot. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. You literally say <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot, yeah. but you mix up the order. I don't even get it, but I guess we're going to have to do this. It's my style. I guess All we're right. just going right, to have to do on, it. Come on, let's go. All right, so, so how? Here I come, I am Cindy oh. Mon. Let's just go. Oh, that's right. So, so is it just best of one or best of two or best of three? What are we uh, doing here? I would say, you know, like the Super Bowl, you get one shot. One, one shot. shot. One shot. One shot. All one right, shot. so you okay. ready? Everybody above table. All above right. table. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Bo. Mm. Bo with takes the us win. out. It looks like that I just took both of you out with one shot. Wow. Yes. So Ma- Gainesville. Is that the magic Bo bullet? The, crazy the magic Look bullet. At that. Hey, I was thinking you guys would go paper, so I was sticking true to the rock. Then you would have lost. Yeah. <laughs> That makes no sense. That, that makes Bo sense. <laughs> something something deep inside said rock. That makes Bo sense. He went to Dawson it does. County. It oh, does. Oh, oh, I just, I'm sorry, Dawson County. And you're from Alabama, so, I mean, you know, you trump me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gainesville. <laughs> Gainesville is the Wilhart team of the week via the tiebreaker. That was a great tiebreaker, by the way. That was a good tiebreaker. I won. <laughs> the best part about it was quick. Actually, None of this actually, three overtime I'm going to reveal what I was actually doing. I was actually cheating. Really? Yeah, because because when you were going to go rock or pay, rock paper scissors shoot, I was going to pause for a minute. But when you guys went scissors, I did just I just oh. won. Oh, uh. I just won. Seth, you may have to slow this down for the replay official we at the might. end and see if it actually mm. was. Because if he did hesitate, <laughs> it's a tainted victory for Gainesville. I love how when we do Chuck this Chuck Graham kind of is going to be very it upset with It seems like you. we just throw the teams out of it, and it's just personal victories for us. <laughs> yeah. Winners. We're all winners. Chuck Graham, if, if he ends up losing... Based on the technicality, he's not going to be real happy. And you know, he's not. He's still. You know, he he looks like he's still in really good yeah, shape. Yeah, oh, yeah. Although he did tell me. Remember, we talked to him about going down to Tallahassee. So I caught up with him right before Lanierland started, and he said uh, Charlie Ward's ducked him. Really? Yeah. He said he. Ah, I'm not. I don't think. I'm I didn't want to do it. Yeah. Right. I said. I said. So he. I said, Coach, would you take? He goes, Oh, I would have taken him, no doubt. <laughs> like, okay. So. All right. So there's your wrap. Folks, did a little fun with the Will Hart team of the week. 
And again, you get no trophy or anything for it because we don't have a sponsor for this segment of the show. But uh, <clears throat> hey, you get so someone sponsor us. <laughs> you get please. Big. If it was any more obvious, it'd be a neon <laughs> sign. <laughs> but you do get the honor of the Will Hart Team of the Week, Maybe Gainesville you Red Elephants, right here. for their six-game win streak and their fourth straight Lanierland title. After that 0-10 starts, as we wrap things up, a big schedule heading up on Friday and on Saturday at high school basketball. Check the website out, accesswdiva.com. Later on, we'll have that schedule up for you on the website. For Jeff Hart, our producer, Seth Chapman, I'm Bo. Enjoy the rest of your week, everyone.